Qatar charity is rebuilding homes for Rohingya refugees following a tragic fire. The GCC's non-energy sectors are making a major recovery through tourism. Meanwhile, Qatar's Emir honors this year's batch of Qatar University graduates. And finally, a thrilling season of the Qatar Stars League came to an end on Monday. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar charity along with numerous donors from Qatar are rebuilding 326 homes for Rohingya refugees in the Balu Kali camp and Cox's Bazaar. A tragic fire destroyed the shelter of over 15,000 individuals in March, leaving them stranded and homeless. According to 150 eyewitnesses, the fire was a quote, planned act of sabotage. Now, GCC economies have bounced back in a major way since the 2020 pandemic, with tourism aiding the non-energy sector, notably in Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Qatar saw a huge huge surge in tourism due to their hosting of the FIFA World Cup, with monthly numbers remaining solid since early 2023. According to a PwC report, the non-oil economy is recovering, even in the hardest-hit sectors, fueled in part by the return of expat populations. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim and Hamad Al Thani attended the graduation of Qatar University's class of 2023. During the ceremony, Sheikh Tamim honored 107 outstanding graduate students, as 3,913 students graduated from the university in various different fields. The new graduates joined the ranks of over 64,000 Qatar University alumni since its establishment. And finally, the curtains have come down on a stellar season of the Qatar Stars League with Al Dihail lifting the trophy. Al Dihail needed a win to secure the title with second placed Al Arabi breathing down their neck. Al Arabi beat Al Said 2 1, but that wasn't enough as Al Dihail thrashed Al Shimal 5 2 to capture the title. Elsewhere, Al Sayliya couldn't avoid relegation as they were beaten by fourth placed Al Wakra. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.